Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got another Japanese tool haul. This one's a little bit different. Uh, normally I'm opening stuff that I purchased myself from Amazon Japan, uh, but this one, this package was actually sent to me by Vessel Tools USA. Uh, Vessel Tools is a Japanese screwdriver manufacturer along with other tools, but mainly focused on screwdrivers. Uh, founded in 1916, they've been in the game for quite a while, over 100 years, and no screwdrivers inside and out. Uh, they specialize in JIS screwdrivers. We talked about that in the previous Vessel Tools video. Uh, JIS is its own specific fastener. Uh, if you work on Japanese cars, Japanese motorcycles, etc., and you use a normal screwdriver, Phillips head, you found that you've probably found you've had issues with screw stripping, camming out, and the screwdriver just not fitting very well in the screws. And the reason for that is they do not use Phillips head screws, they use JIS cross type fasteners. Uh, JIS cross type is a little bit different than a Phillips. They both at face value look like a traditional cross type fastener. Uh, JIS screws are normally indicated with a dot uh, to the top of between the crosses legs. Uh, I'll put some visuals on the screen showing you the difference between JIS cross type and Phillips, but again, we talked about this in the last vessel video. But if you did not watch that video, we'll give you a little uh, rundown of it. So Vessel Tools USA is a US subsidiary of Vessel Tools Japan. Uh, when I did the last Japanese tool haul video where I showed you the Vessel Gold, Vessel Silver, Vessel Pearl White uh, screwdrivers that I gave away. We gave away the first gold set of Vessel Limited screwdrivers on Sunday and Scott was our winner. I just shipped those out to Scott. He should have them in a few days. So congratulations again to you, Scott, on winning the first Vessel screwdriver prize. So as I said, Vessel saw the video and they reached out to me and sent me some stuff and uh, we've got some stuff for some more giveaways just to help uh, promote Vessel and get their name out there as they uh, try to grow their US market share for screwdrivers and they make some daggum good screwdrivers, that's for sure. So that said, uh, let's talk about JIS a little bit more. So the JIS fasteners, uh, like I said, is a cross type fastener, very similar to a Phillips, uh, but they are usually marked with a dot. Again, you see these on Japanese vehicles, Japanese ATVs, Japanese motorcycles, etc. So if you've been working on those with a regular Phillips, you know about cam out and not getting a good fit in the fastener and issues you've had. Uh, so these are definitely requirements if you have a Japanese car, Subaru, or you know anything else from Japan that has screws on it. You want some JIS cross type screwdrivers. So we've got that to look at right now. Here's what Vessel USA sent me out. So first off, sticker. Got to have a sticker. Uh, they sent me a flyer uh, with the Megadora line of screwdrivers uh, along with the wood compote, the wood compote screwdrivers we already did a video on uh, back at the beginning of the year. And they also sent me out their 2020-21 uh, catalog, which is pretty thick for a primarily screwdriver manufacturer. But as well as screwdrivers, they make electric and air tools and a few other tools. I don't think they're quite selling in the US market yet, uh, mainly still back in Japan, uh, but they do make more than just screwdrivers. So on to the good stuff, what you clicked on to see, Japanese tools. So starting off, we've got the Vessel Megadora clip set. This is part number 970CR2SC. Uh, this is a two piece set of clip tools for getting those stubborn push pins or uh, the little pine cone headed looking uh, push clips that are flat on the top for interior components or wheel well housing, you know, things of that nature. Uh, so these have their elastomer handles on them. Again, it's a two piece set and you've got two different size tips. So you've got a more smaller one for the tiny fasteners. A lot of Subarus have them for their interior components. And you've got a bigger tip for the larger plastic push pins you'll see like on underbelly trays, uh, in wheel well housings, on front bumpers, rear bumpers, etc. So pretty neat little set. They got a nice non-slip grip on them. Normally you won't have uh, oil or contamination to worry about uh, when using these trim tools uh, or clip tools, uh, but it's nice they put that elastomer 
uh, non-slip handle on them. So that's the two-piece set there, uh, which will be a giveaway. So stick around. I'm probably going to announce the first giveaway at the end of this video. Moving on, we've got the Vessel Megadora set of radiator hose picks or hose removers as on uh, the back of the package here. It's number 970HR3PB. Three piece set of different bends and angles of picks. Again, great for your radiator hoses when they're stuck on there. Uh, you take the point and go between the hose and the neck that the hose is on. Go around to break that seal that sometimes gets on there from crusty buildup uh, after years of the hose being on there. Uh, so these are great for radiator hoses. They're also good for heater hoses, uh, good for uh, turbocharged applications for uh, couplers between the turbocharger, uh, turbocharger piping, intercooler, throttle body. But another nice set. We'll open these all up and get a better view of them uh, later on. Moving on from there, we've got the Vessel Megadora Jaw Fit set. Uh, this is their Jaw Fit screwdriver six piece set. You get three flats and three cross type GIS fasteners. Uh, the tips on these that make them the uh, jaw fit, they have all these serrations on the tip that make them grip in and grab the screw much tighter and much more accurately and they're less likely to cam out when turning. Uh, they also have that non-slip handle on them as well as on the shank, they have some knurling on them for added traction if you're going at the screw with the screwdriver two-handed. Down from there, we've got one of the Vessel ratcheting ball screwdrivers. Uh, this is one of their earliest designs was the ball grip screwdriver. Uh, this is the Vessel 2200. It's a P2 by 150, so 150 millimeter length shank and a number two JIS cross type tip. Uh, this has a comfort grip on it. It's a not, not very uh, rigid, but it is got some rigidity to it. It's not just a squishy soft grip on here. Uh, but as you saw, this does pop open and you can put your regular quarter drive bits in it and make a stubby ratchet that is reversible and also locks in the middle. But then you can pop on your number two uh, they also sell varying lengths and tips of shanks to put onto this driver. Uh, something very neat, something I've wanted to try out for a while is some of these ball grip vessels. Uh, they've got some indications and dentions uh, for your palm when you're at round, and then you can uh, uh, work the screwdriver back and forth with your uh, pointer finger and thumb here at the rubber ring on the backside. So pretty neat, uh, pretty nice ergonomic design. Uh, good for older people that, you know, they don't, they got arthritis starting to build up in their hands. I say older people, I'm 33 and I'm already getting arthritis pretty bad in my knees and my shoulder. So it probably won't be too long before it's in my hands as much as I work with my hands and using them. Uh, so these ball grips, uh, they are a lot easier uh, to use. Uh, they don't require as much of balling up a fist as a traditional screwdriver does. So something interesting, something I wanted to try out. Uh, really grateful for Vessel for sending me this stuff. And uh, last but not least, we've got the big Megadora set in the EVA foam. Uh, this is a combo set of the clip tool, the hose picks, and also a flathead cold chisel. Uh, this is part number uh, 9706 EVA, EVA for the foam insert rather than being in just a cardboard box. Uh, we'll take this out, take the plastic off of it and take a look at it, but finished basically in the same EVA foam that the wood compost set was we looked at earlier this year. Uh, like that they give the cutout, you know, all your pieces are here at the end of the day and the job, everything's accounted for and back in its proper location. Uh, same as I said, you get the three hose picks, same as are in the set here. And you get the two trim clip tools here that are in this set here. Uh, thankful to Vessel for sending me the duplicates. Uh, we're going to do giveaways with the two clip tools and the three hose picks.
and this one I'm gonna get to keep for me. <laughs> and there is the cold chisel, uh, which looks very much like a regular flathead, but this one is actually designed to pry with and strike. Has a large striking cap on the back with a through tang design. So when you hit on it, you're not gonna bust your handle up. You're not gonna bust the uh, blade into the handle and splay it out. It's uh, connected all the way through. So it gives you a good positive strike when you hit it with the hammer. All right, guys, let's get into the big Megadora set and check it out. I just noticed in talking about this on the back side in the plastic, they've actually given me some uh, vessel stickers included. So awful nice of them to do that. I'm not sure if it was just this set or if every set they sell is packaged that way with the stickers and the plastic. Um, if that's the case, I've most likely lost my vessel stickers for my wood compote set because I did not even look before I ripped the plastic off of those. So uh, hopefully that's not the case because I would hate to lose those stickers. If not, I need to look around and see if I find them somewhere because I can't remember if I opened them in the shop out there or what, but uh, if I did, I might have some vessel stickers laying around on the floor somewhere that I didn't keep track of. So first off, this set is really cool that it has the EVA foam. They've got this nice uh, faux brushed aluminum look to it. This is like a uh, plastic uh, die cut piece that's stuck over top of the EVA foam, uh, but gives a nice professional look to it, that nice brushed metal. Uh, it was squished down here in the corner. Hopefully uh, with time that'll pop back up. I guess that was the um, foam crushing it down. It was a little too tight. Uh, here is that flat chisel I was talking about. Uh, we've got a protective coating of plastic on the shank, I guess, to protect it from rusting. Not sure. During uh, transport, looks like a drinking straw that's been shrunk down on it. But again, that non-slip grip with the elastomer handle. Again, we've got that non-slip grip and the elastomer handle. Uh, product number on this is Megadora 970. Looks like here is that nice beefy striking cap. Big chunk of metal back here going straight through the handle out to the tip. I'm not sure how to get this plastic off of here. I guess I'll take a knife to it. All right, so finally got the plastic off of here. And as you can maybe see, there's a nice sheen of oil on here to protect this thing. That is a beefy, beefy flat head. That's not a screwdriver. That is a chisel, guys. That is like a straight pry bar there. Uh, right off the bat, uh, application for this, I can see being a great help in splitting engine and transmissions in Subarus. If you've ever pulled an engine on a Subaru, you are well aware of the issues that sometimes happens when the bell housing of the transmission and the rear of the engine uh, seize and corrode together. And it can be a real, real bear to split them. Uh, so normally I've got an old flathead screwdriver that I've ground down basically like this, one I don't care about, and I use that to uh, beat in there and open up the space where I can get a traditional pry bar in there and pry them apart. Uh, so I think this will be great for that kind of work. Really digging that this thing is nice and laid out and every piece has its place. Uh, so let's look at these radiator hose picks real quickly. Again, we've got that nice non-slip grip. A little bit of texturing here, not anything overboard. Uh, it is pretty slick. Nice comfort grip handle to it. Uh, fits pretty well in the hand. Nice big pick there. Nice blunted in. It's not sharp. It's not going to uh, put a hole in your hose. Uh, one thing you don't want from your radiator hose pick, uh, but it does have a nice small point to help wedge it up under the edge of that hose and uh, work around to break that seal. So with the set, you get those two curved, one this way and one the other way. And then you get this one that's got kind of uh, uh, a swoop into a 90 here. On to the trim tools really quickly. Again, same non-slip elastomer grip, um, but there is the larger throated trim tool. Uh, good for those plastic push pins with the push in the middle and that you know you see on front bumpers rear bumpers and in uh, wheel wells things of that nature really thin profile to slide up under the head and pop them up and lastly we have the smaller clip you see a much smaller opening again very thin point to slide up under the head and pop them up these are more suited for the interior ones normally that have a button cap so again, that's the Megadora 9706 EVA. 
I'll put a link in the description for this set on my Amazon store. And here the Megadora set that we saw earlier is basically the two parts of that set without the foam insert and without the striking chisel. Uh, these two will be a giveaway. So we'll go ahead and announce this giveaway right now. Uh, all you need to do to get in the giveaway is one, be subscribed to the channel, two, like this video, and three, comment below. As you see here, anywhere in your comment has to have this text exactly, again, like the last video because I use a random comment picker, and if it doesn't have this text exactly, it will not pick. I want Megadora. Comment, I want Megadora, like the video, and be subscribed to my channel, and you are entered to win. Drawing will be held on Sunday, October the 18th. So not a lot of time to enter this one as we did on the gold set. So get into it, get commenting right away to get entered to win one of these two sets. Uh, how we'll do the drawing is the first winner. Once I draw your name, I will contact you via commenting on your comment. Uh, you get me back with your email address, I will email you, and then you will have first pick of either the clip tools or the radiator hose pick. Then the second uh, choice, the second name drawn will win the prize that was not picked by the first winner. And sorry guys, I'm running out of light, so we'll try to get this done very quickly. I know this video is a little bit longer, uh, but here are the Megadora Jaws Fit screwdriver set. Like I said before, six piece set, three flats and three JIS cross type. Uh, this set is also available in the EVA foam and it's available uh, as you see it here, I believe the set in the EVA foam is an eight-piece set that comes with a Phillips, not Phillips, JS cross type, hard, to, <laughs> hard habit to break, and a flat uh, stubby driver. So if I recall correctly, that's an eight-piece set. I'll link both of those in the description of the video as well on my Amazon storefront. So with the screwdrivers they have on the cross type, they've got the jaws fit. Uh, they are made of uh, chrome vanadium steel shank. They've got the knurling back here for extra grip. Uh, they got the same chemical resistant um, handle with the no slip on it. And we get to the tips on them. They are magnetized. They also have a vapor blasted tip, uh, removing the shiny finish to make them a little bit more, uh, a little more friction to them uh, to help grip fasteners that much better. So not sure quite how well you can make that out, but there are the little ridges on the ends of the wings that make the jaw fit the jaw fit. Even with the number three in the macro lens, it's very hard to zoom in on this to show you. Uh, but there's the little ends, and uh, there's the Ford profile of those teeth and how the GIS cross type is a little bit fatter at the tip than a traditional US Phillips. Here is the knurling on the shank we talked about earlier. And again, the same non-slip, slightly textured elastomer handles in this very nice uh, teal cyan color. Not sure again guys, I'm colorblind, but I do really like that color. All right, guys, that'll basically do it for today's video. Sorry we couldn't do some testing on the Megadora Jaw Fit and the others, but I'm sure we might do a video in the future on testing these out using them, and I'm sure you'll see them in repair videos in the future using them as well. A big, big thank you to Vessel USA. I greatly, greatly appreciate you guys contacting me and sending this stuff out to me. Uh, thank you for giving me these tools to give away to my viewers. Uh, viewers, again, you saw earlier in the video how to get in to win this stuff. You've got till Sunday, October the 18th to get in. Uh, I'll pick at noon on noon Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the two winners, like I said, first winner gets top priority pick and second winner gets whichever the first winner did not take. And I will get those shipped out to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time.